And here's a new Ronin SC. Yeah. Hi, so who are you? I'm Patrick Santucci. I'm a communications manager for DJI. Uh, right here is the Ronin SC, which is the second version of the Ronin. Um, SC stands for Ronin S, and the C is compact. Um, so this is actually a, a lightweight system compared to the Ronin S. Um, this system was actually designed specifically for mirrorless, mirrorless systems that are uh, increasingly popular nowadays. Um, so and all the Sony systems, the Panasonic systems, some of the uh, mirrorless systems from Canon and Nikon are all compatible with this uh, Ronin SC. Um, so what this does is, is it's a three-axis gimbal that uh, helps you capture uh, stable video. Um, it also has a suite of creative features built into it. Um, one of the biggest design changes from the Ronin S is that we've instituted these axis locks. And that's on this um, on each side, on yeah. side too. And essentially, right here. Yep. Yep. essentially it just makes it easier to travel with um, compared to the Ronin S. Um, a lot of the features are, are similar to, to what the Ronin S offered, except this is just more lightweight uh, than that system. Uh, and it just travels a bit better. And what is this setup right here? Yeah, so this is the, this is the Ronin SC again, but this this guy has the dual handle grip. So a lot of videographers like to have the extra stability of a dual handed grip. It's a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're on longer shoots. Um, so the dual handed grip just adds to that comfort level. And what's really cool about this is it also has um, our focusing motor, um, which is uh, so. This can be purchased as a uh, add-on to the Ronin SC, and essentially this is just, it sends the power to this uh, external focusing motor, so if you want to do manual focus, you can absolutely do that. Um, nice. So we're gonna put this down, and I'm gonna open this up. So uh, one of the really cool features with the Ronin SC is that it's the first uh, DJI uh, handheld stabilizer to offer active track. So essentially, it sends the data from the Nice. It's able to track a subject automatically. So it's tracking, it's moving the whole. Ah, that's, yeah. that's why. What's up? Yeah, so it's moving, it's tracking through the, the phone camera on the app. Uh, cool. Okay. But uh, it requires you put this on up there. Yes. And that, that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good point when you, um, as just a, a general awareness, when you balance your gimbal and you plan on using the active track feature on the phone, make sure you balance it with the phone on it and the system already on it. How does it change the balancing to have a phone on there? Does uh, I mean, it change something in terms now. of uh, back heavy a yeah, little bit? Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, another real, really cool feature uh, that's on here, but I'm, I, I can't show it because if I take it off, it's going to unbalance it, um, is Force Mobile. And what Force Mobile is, is it's taking some of the technology found in Force Pro, which is one of our professional grade products. Uh, and what that does is it synchronizes the movements of your, oh, yes, that's awesome. It synchronizes the movements of the gimbal with your mobile device. This one, yeah, awesome. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, so it just depends if you, you, you need to synchronize it with this, this one and that one, right? Yeah, yeah, we're just figuring out what's going to Yeah, so essentially you open up Force Pro, Force Mobile, uh, and then if you want to move the gimbal from remote, uh, uh, from far away, uh, you can actually just move the mobile phone and it'll synchronize the same exact movement. Nice. Um, again, it's a, similar to the technology found in the Force Pro, which is one of our, our um, high-end uh, cinema products. It's to, for a team of uh, multiple people to work together, trying yeah. to get the best, uh, the best movements. Yeah, to make most professional kind of style. Yeah, yeah, and it's taking advantage of the gimbal, uh, and if someone wants to do a specific yeah. position. And it's, it's the same deal with the master wheels as well. All right. What's the weight of the system? Uh, 1.1 kilograms. So it's getting more and more... Uh, usable for a whole range of mirrorless cameras. Yes. I mean, it's, it's, it's matched up with a mirrorless system. So the mirrorless systems were designed to be lighter, easier to transport. Um, so that's where the Ronin SC comes in, and it's, it's still a similar concept. It's lighter, it's easier to transport, and it, it, um, it pairs perfectly with uh, the, the modern uh, mirrorless the cameras. Sony, uh, Panasonic, Fuji, mm -hmm. Canon, Nikon, everything. Yep. Um, 
not all the Fuji systems, so I recommend if you're going to buy this, just make sure you go onto DJI's website and check uh, the compatibility list, which we list out on the product page. Um, but also know that we consistently look at the cameras to, make, to try and um, make more and more um, uh, compatible with, with these systems.